Hey everybody, welcome to Saturdays with Steph, with me, Stephanie. <laughs> it's good to see all of you for week two of the All-Stars Quilt Along. Um, I apologize if you're getting a glare at all. I have to have my glasses on today. Um, my eyes are really dry and I couldn't put contacts in or anything. So <laughs> uh, you got my glasses today. So hopefully there's not too much glare. And if you could got, guys could let me know if you can hear me. I have figured out how to do a second camera. Fingers crossed it works. And I, my husband ran a new mic for me. So let me know if you guys can hear me loud and clear. Hopefully. <laughs> All right. I said hello to a lot of people who already came in. So after that, I want to say hello to Kathleen Champ. And is it Chana Chana Montgomery? Hello there, good to have you. Hi Cheryl and hi Tracy Alberts. You can hear me awesome, good, okay. You can hear me well, awesome, good, okay. Cause I was a little nervous. We figured this out just like an hour ago. <laughs> good thing my husband is an electrical engineer um, because I don't know what I'm doing with tech. <laughs> hi Anna, hi Tamala, uh, hi Nick Crochet whatever. Hi, Christine. Okay, good. I'm glad you guys can hear me. All right. So I sound marvelous. Good. Thank you, Seely. <laughs> so hopefully the new um, mic will pick me up a little bit better than my old mic. So on the wall behind me are the blocks from week one. And thank you guys so much for sharing your pictures. Some of you have shared pictures with me. You've posted them on Facebook. You've sent me emails. That's awesome. I really appreciate that. I don't know how to share my screen without like messing up the Zoom because I was thinking about trying to figure out how to share them here so everybody could see them. Uh, but I don't want to mess up the Zoom. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is all the pictures that you guys share with me, my I'm going to put them in my UFO whip video, which I did not get to this week because my husband was out of town uh, for business. So um, I will hopefully get that done tomorrow and get it up on my channel. So if you've shared pictures of blocks or even just your fabric choices, I will put those in that video. Um, Cause I'd like to share and like, let everybody see what your blocks look like. Cause there's some, all of them are gorgeous that I've seen so far. So thank you. And if you would like to be included where I share yours, uh, send me an email with what you've done so far. So hello, Doreen. Hi, Linda Denton. All right, so this week's block is probably the last of the easier blocks. Not that any of them are hard, just more, the other ones are more complex. Nothing's hard. Everything um, builds on the beginner skills of triangles and half square triangles and quarter square triangles. So um, nothing will be hard, um, but this is the this one is the super easy week. So this is the friendship star. So this is what it's going to look like. I love it. So we're going to sew one of those together and make sure that you do two. So each week um, I'm writing the patterns for the fabric requirements for one block, but you're going to make two blocks. So don't forget to make two because you'll need 20 blocks to finish the quilt and we're putting together 10 different stars. So you'll need two of each one. Hi, Sherlock Sews. Hi, Donna. How you doing? Okay. So I'm going to stick that guy on my wall. And then if I did this right, I'm gonna turn on the second camera and we can start sewing. So, hi, Mary Jane. Let me turn that on. And it, there's a little delay, but you guys let me know if you can see down here where all my fabric and sewing stuff is. Hopefully you can, hopefully I did it right. <laughs> Tracy said, this altar quilt along is perfect for my best friends wicking quilt that I'm making for her. Well, good. That's awesome. Cool. Hi, Ange. How you doing? Good to see you. You can see awesome. Okay. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do those corner blocks. Now the pattern is up on my website in my blog, stephanie-stitches.com and the link to my website is in the description box below this video if you haven't grabbed the pattern yet. Awesome, you guys can see, perfect. So 
these are the corner squares and the little squares that are going to go in the corners. And then this is my centerpiece. These are going to make my star points along with this white. So I'm going to put all these aside for now and we're going to just add the pieces for the corner squares. And to do that, it's the same as what we did last week. We're just going to lay the corner accent fabric and sew corner to corner, flip this over and press it. So I'm going to go ahead and sew these. Got to move all this stuff out of the way. Let's see. Lauren said, I will miss seeing you in Vegas. I will be at the So Fest. Oh, but that'll be so much fun in Washington there. You're going to have a great time. Yeah, it would have been nice to meet you though. So I'm going to sew all four corners the same. So that's one. I think one of my kiddos was on my chair because my chair is not the right height for me. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad that I figured out the two camera thing again. And that my husband found a webcam with a better speaker. Hey Mona, how you doing? Okay, I've got all four corners on. So now I'm gonna trim a quarter inch away from the line I just sewed towards the outside. And then we'll press those out towards the corner, of course. Not every week is going to be this easy, I promise. <laughs> of course, I got to use my magic juice. Hi, Joanne, how you doing? Oh, folding clothes. That's not my most favorite thing to do. I like washing clothes. I just don't like folding them and putting them away. It takes so long. Of course, I have a really big family, so that's probably part of it. <laughs> it takes a long time to get it all done. Okay. Let me get these guys oppressed. Every block is going to have snowballed corners, yes, Tracy, um, but they're not all going to be this size because they're going to get a little harder as we go here. So, <laughs> YouTube and my iPhone are not playing together today. Can't switch to the live chat. So annoying, said Katie Kraft. Oh, well, we can see you at least. Good to have you here. <laughs> That's a good point. I don't think I have mine on live chat. There we go. All right. Hi, Brenda. Yes, every block is going to have the snowball corners, though, um, because when we join them all together with the sashing and the sashing post, it's going to make like a secondary pattern, which is going to be neat. So these are the larger squares, the 
I can't remember if I wrote five or five and a half inch in the pattern. Um, so we're going to draw a line corner to corner now on these. And you should have two of these larger background squares. And I'm going to put those right sides together. And then we're going to sew a quarter inch on either side of that line that I just drew on both of these guys. Okay, let's see. Hi, Julie, how you doing? Hi, Dawn, good to see you. Uh, Christine said, glad we're having sessions so we don't have to match all the themes, yeah. Um, I actually didn't start off with sashing, but as I made the quilt, I thought it needed it, so yeah. So the little corner squares are going to with the sashing piece, they're gonna make like a secondary little kind of block. So it'll be neat. Um, let's see, Lauren said, I often forget towels in the dryer. The washer is a different level of disaster. Oh, hi, Bonnie, hi, Kathy. Okay, so what did I just do with my ruler? All right, <laughs> there's my ruler. So now I'm gonna cut these apart on that line that I drew so we can make two half square triangles per set of squares. You need four, half square triangles for each of these blocks. Okay, let me decide for a second. And I'm gonna press these towards the darker fabric. How big is the quilt going to be? Um, I will let you guys know next week. Sorry, I forgot to write it down. Hi, Philippa. It's 20 blocks that are 12 inches each, but then they're stashing. So larger than a lap quilt, but I can't, I can't remember the exact dimension. I'll look that up for you. Looking forward to seeing a lot more of the collab with Steven. Yeah. We've, we've found a few issues with the uh, the pattern. So I was seriously considering rewriting it, but um, I think Steven's gonna try to explain it a little bit on Wednesday to you guys, so. All right, give these guys a press and then I'll trim them down because they're too big right now. Because you all know I like to do my high triangles large and trim them down. I was working on a quilt not that long ago that was a quilt kit and they didn't do the trim down larger hat square triangles and mine were just a smidgen too small and it kind of irritated me. So I always do it this way. I'd rather have them larger and trim them down than too small. Amazon delivered my acorn pen. Awesome. I like to drive my towels in the open air when possible. Oh, that would be wonderful. A little too cold for that right now. 
here, but in the summertime, that would be awesome. Priscilla said, I noticed those problems too. Yeah, we're gonna talk about them on Wednesday. So pattern problems are reality for many of us. It will be great to see how you two resolve it. Yeah, we kind of, we talked about it yesterday and we're gonna show you guys hopefully a way that, a better way that you can understand because it's the pattern wasn't written very well. And I've talked to a few people since we started it and they said that designers patterns are always kind of confusing. Not sure why they feel the need to write them so people can't understand them, but that's okay. We'll get it figured out together. That's why we're doing it together. So now I'm just trimming these down. I'm using my ruler and using the dark 45 inch line on my ruler, putting it right on my sew line. There are all kinds of specialty rulers you can get if you're interested, block lock rulers and clearly perfect slotted trimmers. And quite frankly, I own both, but I prefer this way. And this way people who don't have them don't feel like they need to run out and get them because you can do it with a regular ruler. Uh, would it be okay if I converted your star blocks to a mini cross stitch block? Oh, of course. That'd be cute. I'd love to see that. Of course. I wish I did more cross stitching. I, I do like to do it. I just don't have a lot of time. Especially now that my husband is traveling. I am very overwhelmed lately. I'll get used to it though. It'll be fine, but... I feel like there's there needs to be 48 hours in the day, not 24. So that's okay. I'll get there. Almost done. One more to trim up after this. Hi, Catherine, how you doing? Hi, Sherry, how you doing? Lauren said, Angie, you're lucky. Our development does not allow clotheslines. Neither does mine, but we have a deck on the back of our house and we cheat sometimes and put them over the deck. <laughs> we just bring them in before anybody sees them. I'll do that with quilt. Like if I wash a quilt and it's in the summertime, I'll drape it over the deck and let it air dry. Linda said, I need to buy new rulers. The one I have is getting well used. The lines are wearing off. Oh yeah, that sounds like you need a new one. Um, Lori said, it does take time to get used to a spouse who's traveling for work. Yeah, he never traveled before. He would be out for like a day, but he wouldn't be gone. So it's it's a little different. But that's okay. I'll get used to it eventually. He really loves his new job, so that makes me happy. So I'll do whatever because he really was not happy at his old job. And since he's supporting all of us, I want him to be happy. So that's our star block. Put these guys together. So that's what it's gonna look like. So now I'm gonna just sew the rows to, or sew the pieces together to make the rows and then we'll put the rows together and then we're done. Really quick and easy. This is a quick week. The half square triangles are the fussiest part.
Ok, Montreal, pause. <laughs> Uh, Catherine said, doing well here in sloppy New Hampshire. Oh, is it sloppy? Eh. We got, um, we were supposed to get buried in snow yesterday and we got like a coating. We're like, where is this big snowstorm at? <laughs> Lauren said, I really like creative grids. Cost a little more, but worth it. I agree. And a bunch of people have asked me recently, which is interesting if I like the quilter select or the creative grid rulers. I personally like the creative grids one better because I have a hard time seeing through the yellow on the quilter select. But if the yellow doesn't bother you, I feel like they're very equivalent, um, that they're both really, really good rulers. So if you like the quilter selector, um, I wouldn't say to switch to creative grids. I just have a hard time seeing the, through the yellow or with the yellow on those those rulers. But there's nothing wrong with them. I think they're really good quality rulers. Got my package in the mail yesterday, very fast. Love all the fabrics. Oh, good, Kathy, thank you. That did get to you kind of fast. Good. oh. My needle keeps coming unthreaded. Probably need a new needle. I don't change my needle as often as I should. How often do you guys change your needle? As much as I sew, I probably should change it like every two days, but I tend to not. Hi, Shirley, how you doing? Uh, love the middle block and the green really goes together nicely. Oh, thanks. I had a really hard time deciding whether to use this green or to use a yellow, but um, I'm glad I went with the green. Linda said, I don't change my sewing needles. Okay. <laughs> Cheryl said, I changed mine after about eight to 10 hours of sewing. Yeah, that would mean I'd have to change mine like literally every other day. And I should probably, but I'm bad. Laura said, when our children were young, my husband traveled for at least a week each month in New York. He was a seated committee member of the engineers that make everything work like electrical outlets. Ah, okay. Change needle every week or two, depending on how many days I sew. I change my needle when it comes unthreaded more than three times. Yeah, Lori, that I'm about there. I think I need to change mine. Good to hear you're doing well, Shirley. If I'm having any sort of problems with the stitches, the first thing I do is change the needle, said Julie. Lauren said, after every project. Kathy said, about three times, change my needle about three times when I'm quilting. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Pamela, how you doing? Just got home from moving my daughter out. Oh, you're officially an empty nester? Oh, wow, that's a big deal for you. I think that would be a really interesting, I haven't experienced that, of course, yet because my kids are so young, but I think that would be kind of like something that I would be excited about, but also sad because I love my kiddos, but at some point you want them to grow up and like be their own people, right? So that would be hard. Catch 22. Oh, thanks, Ange. <laughs> I did put that on backwards. She said, check the bottom row. You're right. Thank you. I was about to iron that bad boy in place. I turned it.
what did I do here? Yo, I got this all messed up. <laughs> Good thing we have Jack, right? All right, thanks for telling me so I can fix it. I think I made a mistake on the middle row too. I'm just not paying attention. One of those dates. There we go, that's better. Now, what did I do here? I turned that piece. Goodness gracious. I'm talking too much instead of paying attention. <laughs> it's okay. It's good to see all of you and talk to you. Ooh, Sally said dinner's ready. What you having for dinner, Sally? There we go. Now we got it right. All right. Go away, Jack. Don't come back. <laughs> yes, I was excited, but sad at the same time. It was easier with Emily than Nick. Not sure why. Oh, that's interesting. I think it'll be harder for me with my daughter, but I don't know. I'm not there yet. So Okay, there we go. Now it's fixed. <laughs> so I'm showing you guys how to make this block, but also how to take it apart if you make a mistake. <laughs> that was meant to do that. Mm -hmm. I did that on purpose. <laughs> Just to show you how easy it was to take it apart. Okay, now those are the right way. All right, so now I'm gonna press those guys and then we'll put these rows together. Thank you guys for telling me so I didn't sew it all together before I figured it out. <laughs> this is one of my favorite blocks. It's actually easy, Lauren. I just wasn't paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> Just make sure you guys pay attention when you put it together. I was too busy talking. So like I said, I was just teaching you guys how to use Jack. That's all. Just giving you a lesson. <laughs> yep. Uh-huh. That's what I'm going to stick with. That's my story. Okay. And now this guy. Okay. Accidents and block making adds to the variety. I like that, Julie. <laughs> it was a design choice. No, it was just a lesson on how to use Jack. Okay, now that should be correct. Yes? <laughs> I'm going to let you guys tell me before I go on. <laughs> oh, did the same, put the. Christy said, I did the same, put the HST backwards. Jack had to come out at the very beginning. <laughs> What line of fabric are you using? Okay, so I'm using a mix of two fabric lines from April Rosenthal. Uh, she's a Moda designer. I'm using her Zinnia line and her Love Lily line. Um, I had a few fat quarters from each, so I decided to pull them out and mix them because her lines, she does a lot of 30s reproduction, um, and her lines all sort of go together, or at least these kind of lines. She does do Christmas lines and 
other things, but her flowery lines usually kind of all go together. So that's what I'm using. It's correct. Okay, <laughs> now I'm gonna sew them. Thank you again all for alerting me. So I didn't sew the whole thing together and have to pick out the whole thing. <laughs> That's when it's no fun to pick out. And I've done that before and I'm sure you guys have too. I don't think I've ever done it though where I had it in a quilt. That's one row attach. Now I'm going to attach the bottom row. Uh, Lauren said, I've seen antique quilts with a mistake like that left in. Yeah, I think that's, I don't, I don't think it's a problem if it's are left in. I think it's kind of cool because you can tell it was made by a real person, not a machine, right? Okay, there we go. Got that thread. All right, I just gotta iron this guy and he's all done. Where is my... I think I ironed, yeah, I ironed this one open, the first one I made, just because it was a little bit bulky. Stay up right there we go okay so when i press seams open i press it to one side first it seems to press open a little easier if you do that you don't have to though do it your way that's just the way i like to do it and then i go on the back side with my pressing pen and i open that seam up and then press again Oh, it's way flatter already. I'm glad I did that open. Yep, this is the same line as the first couple blocks. Well, it's two lines, but yeah, same fabric line. She's got a lot of different colors in this, um, this fabric line. So I thought that would be neat to have a really super colorful Happy quilt. So it's going to be a very happy quilt with all these colors. Hi, Dawn. How you doing? Okay. There's that block. Add that to my wall here. All right, so there's block one and two for the first week and block one and two for the second week. So that was fun. 
I'm glad that you guys told me, <laughs> seriously glad that you guys told me that I put that on backwards because I was able to fix it right away. So, uh, let's see, uh, from Cameron Mills, New York. Well, welcome, Don. Good to see you. Maureen said, I'm pressing to one side first to set the seam before I open them up. Yeah. That's what I like to do too when I um, do seams open. For some reason, they seem to want to open up better if you do that. Uh, Joanne said, I'm not sure if you got my question. Oh, I didn't see it. I'm sorry. Um, do you use triangle paper and square and square paper? I don't, um, but I know people do and they love it. And if you want to do that for some of these, you probably could. I just have been traditionally piecing for so long that I find it for me quicker to just do it myself um, and not use the papers because then you have to line the papers up and then you have to tear them out. And that just takes more time to me. Anything, I do love to FPP, foundation paper piecing. Um, but anything that you can do traditionally, I feel like it's easier for me to do that way. I don't understand why people would take a, this is just my perspective. If you all like it better, that's totally fine. I would say go for it. But I wouldn't take like an Ohio star or friendship star and turn it into an FPP pattern because I can do that fairly quickly and easily traditionally. Um, but if you're making other things like animals or like a star, like a wonky star that the shapes aren't something that would go together traditionally easily, or you'd have, it would create Y seams or something like that, that I do not want to do. <laughs> then I would say, you know, that is what FPP is to me is good for. So. Lauren said, oh, thank you, Pamela. She said, beautiful. Lauren said, don't forget to press like. I appreciate that. Um, and says, I love it with the corner stars. Yes. So just a little preview for you guys. When we put the quilt together, we're going to put sashing in between and there's going to be a square right here in the middle. So then you're going to see almost like a sort of like a churn dash block in the center. So you're going to get sort of a secondary pattern. And that's why I'm um, putting the little corners on each block. So um, how much background fabric is needed for the whole quilt? Would three yards be enough? Valerie, um, three yards may be enough if you are someone who uses like every bit of fabric. If you make a wrong cut or something, you might need a little more because I think it estimated about three and a quarter to three and a half. But um, I think that you could get away with three yards when I put it in the fabric estimator. So yeah. Okay, so that is the block for this week, the Friendship Star. Are there any other questions? Nick Crochet, whatever, said, pretty, thank you. I'm loving them so far. I wasn't really, really sure about this fabric. Um, like I said, I've had it sitting here. Well, Zinnia's new. It's a new fabric line, but I've had Love Lily sitting here for a while or some of the pieces from the line because um, it isn't typically fabrics that I work with. And so I decided this would be the perfect project to bring it out for to make a really colorful quilt. And I'm really glad that I made the choice to use these because I really am loving them. So um, Cheryl said, thank you. You're welcome. Fun star said Del Marie. Thank you. I'm really excited about them. Um, you're welcome, Valerie. Valerie, I will this week try to calculate it a little closer to see exactly. Um, I am doing it week by week, but I did draw out the whole quilt. So I'll sort of try to do the calculations on my own without the program and see really, because sometimes it can underestimate or overestimate. Most of the time it overestimates. So um, yeah, I'll work on that. Okay, well, it doesn't look like there's any more questions. So this was a quick block. Oh, thank you. Christine said, thank you, we'll watch you and Steven on replay on Wednesday. Oh, thank you. Um, yeah, that's the quilt along with Steven. Um, it's going to be a little bit different for my quilts alongs. I wanted to sew live, but I don't think he was as comfortable. So he's sewing a little bit ahead of time and he's sort of, I think, going to show you guys what we've done, but we are going to sort of go over the pattern more this week because the pattern, the way it's written is, um, a little bit confusing. Um, I looked at it and I thought it was confusing, but I also have the ability to look at 
the final product, like the picture of the pattern and sort of dissect it myself. So we're gonna talk about that and hopefully that'll make it a little bit easier for you guys because I think the pattern, the way it's written is confusing too. So, um, and it's supposed to be a beginner pattern. So that's the interesting thing, but. <laughs> Um, and like I said, if you guys want to share pictures with me to my email, um, I would love to see uh, the fabric you're using or the blocks that you've made. And I'm going to show those during my next UFO whip video, um, the ones that I've received so far. So thank you guys so much. Uh, I love watching you sew and learning from you, said Catherine. Oh, thank you. Uh, Valerie said, I have some 90 inch fabric, so I will have enough. Oh, great. Yay. Perfect. Um, all right. Well, that's all I've got. And I will see you guys really soon. We've got a few more weeks to go. I think three more weeks before we stop for one week um, for the puzzle mystery quilt. Um, that week we won't have a block, but then we'll start again the following week. And then I'm going to be out of town the end of February for one Saturday. So probably what I will do for that week is pre-record the video and do it as a premiere because I won't be able to shoot it live, but I'll be able to talk to you guys while it's playing. So just be aware of that happening too. Um, the pattern and the picture of the quilt don't match. Yeah, you're right, Cheryl. That was some of the things we ran into. It's kind of kind of different. So I'm not sure what they did there. So that's why we're going to kind of dissect the pattern a little bit more for you guys on Wednesday. So look for my whip video. Um, and then look for the live with Stephen and I on Wednesday. We know it's like kind of a weird time. A lot of people work, but it's what worked for his availability and my availability. But it's always going to be on replay and we're recording it, both of us. So I can post it on my channel or you can go check it out on his channel later. So, yay. Just got my monthly Stephanie box. Awesome. All right, guys, have a good night. Have a great week. There's a lot of colds and bugs going around. So stay safe. Stay well. Um, I don't want to catch anything else because I've had enough of that this year. Already. <laughs> and we're just into the new year. But in the last six months, I feel like I've been sick more than I haven't been. So, um, yeah. So try to stay well out there and take care of yourselves. And I'll see you guys really soon. Bye. Thank you.